Good evening, I'm Keely Lovern. Community members who came together to support a young mother who just lost five children are now hoping to create memories with green grass and spring flowers. As First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti tells us, the house where those victims died were de was demolished today. After sitting empty the last four months, Demolition workers pull up in front of the home where five children died back in December to tear it down. A handful of people gathered to pray and give thanks. Ah, it sounds odd, but we still say thank you. We thank you for those and we thank you for the community. Most here led the effort to raise money for funeral expenses after Amy Negron Acevedo's four daughters and one son were killed here. We want to declare this ground as holy ground because it is holy ground. Carter then sprinkled holy oil on the ground. Although the children's mother was not here, the group prayed beside Charles Gunn, the father of four of them. Gunn never spoke to them, only nodding slightly before walking away. One worker manning a hose to keep down the dust. The huge excavator made quick work of the old house, and it was down in less than 20 minutes. The owner of the property, who had been renting the house to Acevedo and her family when the fire broke out, paid to have it demolished. Members of a church congregation down the street will maintain it until a new purpose is found. We're going to remember them. Um, and we're going to make this a place that will be something in their memory. Organizers of this morning's vigil promised what started as a terrible tragedy months ago will now have a new beginning. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.